At 8.48 a.m., the first news reports that a plane, later identified as American Airlines Flight 11, had crashed into one World Trade Center, the North Tower. Good Morning America is interrupted at 8.51 a.m. as Diane Sawyer announces an explosion at the World Trade Center. Now by the entire ABC network, uh, Good Morning America was in progress in the East Coast and the Midwest, but we're joined by the entire network just to show you some pictures at the foot of New York City. This is at the World Trade Center. Obviously a major fire there, and there has been some sort of explosion. We don't fully know the details. There is one report as of yet unconfirmed that a plane has hit uh, the World Trade Center and you can see that there is smoke there coming out of at least two sides of the building. And as you said, there are two towers, the tallest structures in Manhattan on the island of Manhattan. We're trying to get people on the telephone to see what more we can learn. We have no idea if it was a plane, was it in any sense deliberate, was it an accident? It does seem to be that there is considerable and and truly terrifying damage on some of those floors at the top. At 9.03 a.m., United Airlines Flight 175 crashes into two World Trade Center, the South Tower. At 9.37 a.m., Flight 77 crashes into the western side of the Pentagon and starts a violent fire. 9.58 a.m., the South Tower of the World Trade Center begins to collapse. 56 minutes after the impact of Flight 175, a tremendous gray-white cloud of pulverized concrete and gypsum rushed through the streets. Its destruction is viewed and heard by a vast television and radio audience. As these events are occurring, some Americans are in shock. Others are preparing themselves for a call to arms. September 11, 2001, I was sitting in my den in Richmond, Kentucky. Um, I was actually enrolled in, enrolled in college. Um, I was in my final semester and was supposed to graduate that December. The, uh, I was skipping class because I had woke up late and I was sitting there watching, um, watching the morning news. Um, maybe the Today Show or something like that and they broke in and uh, so there was a plane that had flown into the World Trade Center in New York City. And I thought, well that's, that's ludicrous, it's crazy, that's, you know, how do you, how do you fly into a building? And I think like 99% of the rest of the free world, I never thought that it was, um, it, it did not cross my mind that it was an intended attack. I thought that it was, uh, initially thought it was some kind of freak accident that uh, um, the plane had taken off, had lost power, lost capabilities, and it was just a really bad day for you know the people that were there and the people that were on board. And I was actually, in my co-op job, um, when the when the first plane hit the towers, and I actually worked in airline finance, so that's a big deal because you know UPS is an airline. So, you know, my my girlfriend, you know, wife now called to say, you know, a plane hit the World Trade Center. I'm like, you know, that's well, that's odd. You know, bad day for that that pilot. You know, that's pretty weird. But then, uh, as soon as the second plane hit, that's when you knew. Oh, yeah, we're under attack. This is this is definitely serious. You know, you could see it on the internet for a minute, and then the internet was down. The network was crashed. You know, every, you know, the everybody was down to all the communication. But they did have it on a TV, and and we all kind of stopped working. We gathered around, and a couple coworkers were from from New York, and and they were even more stunned because they knew actually how big that building was, how many people really worked there. You know how many people were around it. They had friends in there, and it was just like, oh my gosh! And then when the then when the tower fell, it was even more unbelievable because you just you just uh, you, you just don't expect things like that to happen, or even see it uh, in front of your eyes, even if it's on the television. So um, you know, planes started getting grounded. Uh, we were trying to find places for pilots to stay. You know, we didn't. You know, basically, we we're trying to account for all of our our airplanes and uh, get the pilots lodging and you know, nobody knew when the planes would be able to fly again. 
So it was almost, uh, we are doing some emergency planning there for the UPS uh, pilots and operations, but we were still focused on the, you know, the shock of uh, the towers and the smoke and everything that uh, was billowing out. It was just, uh, you just couldn't believe it. You know, did, yeah, there, there aren't any words for it. I lived with my brother at the time, who was also a Marine, and um, we were sitting there and watching it, and because it, it, it drew you in, it was like a train wreck almost, and you couldn't help but watch it at that point. And then, as we're sitting there watching TV, you see the second plane fly into the tower. And at that moment, I knew that my life had forever changed. I knew that the face of the country had forever changed. September 11th, 2001, I had just flown back from D.C. the night before, um, and I remember, you know, driving past the Pentagon, like all the, just like every other time I had done that on the way to the airport. Uh, that morning, I went out to run with a fellow company commander of mine, and uh, we're obviously three hours back, so it was probably, oh, I forget what time things happened, but it was, you know, six o'clock in the morning, and we get back from our run, and I remember stretching, and somebody came out and said what happened. And I think we all were just like, what are you talking about? This, it's not computing, it's not even possible. For the Marines, shock turned to anger. All across America, active duty and reservists began calling in, seeking the orders they knew were to follow. When, you know, we saw the attack on the World Trade Center, it was like, oh, this is serious, you know, this. This is going to be go time for us. This is probably, you know, our game time. I mean, you get activated for two years later, so it's almost like a long, uh, drawn out um, uh, engagement, if you will. But um, as soon as it sank in that we were under attack, you know, we were uh, already began mentally preparing ourselves uh, to, you know, for war, for lack of a better term. 